What's up, TMV fam? Welcome back to TMV Nation. It's your girl, Tawana. And I am here by myself today. I'm going to be... Re I can't even talk. I am going to be reviewing this non-alcoholic wine. So I'm going to tell you all a little bit about how I ended up with this wine. Like, why is it even here? Because y'all know I love wine. Like, N-A wine. Why? And um, I'm going to review it and tell y'all what it tastes like. I've already drank some of this so as y'all can see it's open this one is open like accidentally I had just a little bit of a little sip of that so I'm gonna tell y'all what I think about it the hubby and I we try y'all know we like our wine we like our drinks but we we don't drink all the time right and so we wanted to get something that gave us a little bit of the taste of something that we like to drink also give you a little bit of kind of the ambiance and the feeling that you get when you pour a nice glass of wine or you have a nice cocktail or you have a nice beer or whatever. So I wanted to find some in a wine. So hubby actually found these for me and picked them up. And I think he had tried some non-alcoholic beer or something. Do I drink wine, I love wine, but I don't drink wine like during the week with meals and stuff like that. Only because I just, like I said, I don't want to be drinking every day. But I do like to relax with a glass of wine. So I have actually had this one a couple of times. And I'm going to tell you, I'm going to taste a little bit more on camera here. And I'm going to tell you all what my thoughts are about this wine. So this is uh, by the brand Free. Wait. This is by the brand Free. F-R-E. Let me tell you a little bit about um, this wine. This Non-alcoholic wine is not technically 100% non-alcohol. Non um, it's alcohol removed wine. They take a regular wine and then it goes through whatever process it goes through so that the alcohol is removed from the wine. Now the alcohol is not, they're not able to completely remove all the alcohol, but you're supposed to be left with a little bit, well, a lot of the wine flavor but without the alcohol. Um, but I've tried this. The thing is, when you remove the alcohol, of course, it, it changes the flavor. For a beverage to be considered non-alcoholic wine or whatever, it has to have less than 0.5%. So this has less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. So again, that's not a 0%. It's less than 0.5%. But there have been a lot of studies done on these types of wines. It cannot get you drunk. Apparently, even if you drank like a whole bottle of this, a whole bottle, probably more than one bottle, it's just not enough for the alcohol to build in your bloodstream. Because the alcohol um, percentage is so low as your body is taking it, almost as soon as your body is taking it in, it's metabolizing it and moving it out. So it's just not enough to, for you to fill it. But I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit of this free white Zinfandel one I really like it like I said I had it before and I had it a while so it might not even still be that flavorful this is good y'all this is good now let me tell you I am not a Zinfandel kind of drinker okay. but I do like a Zinfandel and when I first started my wine journey I drank a lot of Zinfandel <laughs> because it, it's a little sweeter as most wine drinkers we tend to start with sweet wines until we really start to um, really enjoy the flavor of wine but this is good y'all this this tastes like an actual real Zinfandel it tastes like a white Zinfandel it really has that flavor I don't know if y'all can see how much of this I've drank look this is almost all gone I've drank more than half of this wine and I'm telling you it could be placebo effect, I don't know. But when I drink this wine, I will drink a glass of this at night. I feel relaxed. I think it helps me sleep. It could be all in my mind. But it could also be, I don't know. They say that 0.5%, you shouldn't feel anything. But I don't know. It's just, I, I guess just having a glass of anything at night as you're relaxing is going to cause that relaxing effect. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give you two ratings. I'm going to rate this compared to its actual regular um, type with alcohol. And I'm going to rate it just for its own flavor. So 
if I'm going to compare this to the regular white Zinfandel that has um, alcohol, as far as being a good dupe or comparison, I would give this an eight, y'all. That's really how close it is. Like to me, man, this is this is almost a one for one. Like they really got that Zinfandel flavor. Um, as far as the flavor on its own, mm, I'm gonna go with the same rating. I'm, I'm still gonna give it an eight for both ratings. Um, this is really good and I like it. If you are looking for a non-alcoholic wine, for whatever reason, sometimes, you know, you might decide you don't wanna drink anymore, whatever, check this out, I will repurchase. This is the next wine that I am going to review. This is called Ariel, it's a non, this is the brand. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon um, red wine. Y'all, I accidentally opened this. I'm so mad that I'm not gonna be able to drink this on camera, but I can still review it. I opened this wine because this was on our bar where the rest of my wine is, and I just finished a bottle of Cabernet, and I was opening a new bottle, and I opened this, and I drank it and I immediately almost wanted to spit it out if, if that tells you anything. Now, I just noticed on here it says to refrigerate and consume within five days after opening. So it's it's been a while. It might have been even a couple of weeks, y'all. So I'm just not going to take that risk. So I apologize for that. This contains less than one half of 1% um, alcohol by volume. So less than 0.5 percent again now when i drank this to me this was not good i hate to say it this did not taste to me anything like a cabernet sauvignon this tasted like some old stale grape juice it literally tasted like that so when i put this in my mouth i immediately knew this was not wine it just it didn't taste good now, but i can tell you as far as being a good comparison for wine it was not. I knew automatically right off the bat. Like that other wine I just reviewed, had I accidentally drank that in place of Zinfandel with wine, I would not have known the difference. This did not taste good. It tastes like an old, um, maybe less sweetened grape juice. And I just didn't like it. I didn't like it. Even, even if I was drinking it for grape juice, I, I wouldn't like it. So on a scale of one to 10, um, in comparison to real wine, I would literally give this like a two because it was that bad in comparison. As far as flavor on its own, I would give it a five, okay? But it just wasn't for me. So I'm gonna go on to the next one. I'm excited about this one. As y'all can see, it is not open. I have not tried it. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like. This is also by that brand, FRE Free. I'm excited about that because the Ziffindel Free was delicious. So I'm gonna try this one. Again, this is the Chardonnay Alcohol Removed Wine. Here we go. Let me smell this one. Oh my gosh, y'all. This smells just like a Chardonnay to me. It smells just like a Chardonnay. That is unbelievable. This is good, y'all. You know what this tastes like to me? This tastes like a Chardonnay that you left open too long, so now it's really flat. <laughs> so y'all might be thinking, how is that good? Let me tell you how that's good. Because it tastes like the Chardonnay. If someone gave me this, I would think, oh, this is, this is um, a bottle that's been open a while that they hadn't drank up yet. The flavor is good. I like it. It's very, all of these, I'm not, I'm not gonna review them as if I'm reviewing a wine, but I do wanna say all of these are very smooth drinks. Um, they're not alcoholic drinks, so um, I guess they would be, but this is, is like a, a flat Chardonnay. Mm-hmm. Rich, it says rich creamy apple flavors with crisp citrus. 
just like a Chardonnay. You get that, that crisp, citrusy kind of flavor. I like this, y'all. So let me go ahead and rate this Chardonnay. Um, this Chardonnay is good. I will. I think I like this brand. This brand free makes some good non-alcoholic wines. Um, on a scale of one to ten, in comparison to this being close to the real Chardonnay, I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give this a six point five. And the the only reason is that I think if there was a way where they could make it like less flat then because it, it's not it's not crisp like it's supposed to be it's more you know just flat but I think if they could find a way to make it a little crisper then um I think this would be a one for one but it's just like a, a Chardonnay that's been a, uh, that's been uh in a bottle that's been open for a couple of weeks um so for that reason, I'll give it a 6.5. As for flavor on its own, I would drink this on its own, not really expecting, you know, like a wine flavor. I think the flavor is good. I would give the flavor like a 7.5. It's not too sweet, um, but it is sweet enough so where it's not dry. Like none of these are dry, like dry wines are. So it can be refreshing. I can see how this is chilled. It'll be a nice refreshing drink with just a little hint of sweetness, but not too much. Um, smooth, cold. Like I think it would give, you know, whatever you need it to give on a nice hot day when you want a refreshing type of drink. Or you could also use these. I've been thinking these are non-alcoholic wines, but you know me, I'm always like, okay, how can I... Uh, make this work with my real wine I've actually been thinking about maybe combining these and doing like half and half if I don't want a full glass of um, wine with alcohol I I could mix like the non-alcoholic Chardonnay with a real Chardonnay I think that would be good um, this will also be good to make this a little more crisp you could also make this into a spritzer I think this would be good. Also, the Ziffindale, if you add, um, you could add Sprite or um, what else could you add? Any, you can add like a, a, what do you call a sparkling water or something like that um, to give it a little bit of a sparkle and make it more crisp. And I think it would be delicious. So like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with other wine lovers or just people you know who maybe want to cut back on alcohol a little bit and they might want to give something like this a try and if you have not subscribed to this channel what are you waiting on we'd love to have you be a part of this community thank you so much for watching until next time take care bye